All right, class, I finally finished marking the test you guys wrote last week, so I'm going to come around and hand them back. Here you go, Luke. Thank you. Geez, I really need to clean my binder. All right, what do I not need? Nope. Nope. You know what? Perfect. Much better. Good morning, class. I had some troubles with my computer last night, so I'm gonna need that test that I gave you guys yesterday back so I could re-enter the marks. Hi. Hi, sir. How can I help you today? I purchased this the other day, but I kind of need the money, so I'd like to return it. I totally understand. Do you have the receipt? Unfortunately, I thought I was gonna keep it, so I threw it out. Oh, well then I can't give you a refund. I need the receipt. But it's brand new. I haven't even opened it yet. I'm sorry, sir. It doesn't matter unless you give me the receipt. Come on, man. Please? If you want, you can try client services on the second floor. <sighs> Fine. Can I at least get a bag? Yes, of course. Here you go. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Drinking dope. Turn me to... Three People Who Beat the System Part 2 A man from Turkey was banned from his hometown soccer stadium for a year, but he said there was a match that was really important, so he had to go to the police station to sign a paper to show that he wouldn't be allowed to watch the game in the stadium. Then right after, he quickly went to rent a crane. It only cost him $86 and he even led the crowd in a chant. A girl's phone was about to die, so she yelled at her mom upstairs to bring her down a charger. The mom decided to put the charger around the dog and told her daughter to call the dog downstairs. Now before I tell you about the smartest kid, I found this app that lets you prank your friends and family by changing their text messages. Just press the button on my profile to get it. Finally, this girl was playing on the computer and didn't want her mom to shut it off. So she placed Legos all over the floor because we all know that it's the most painful thing in the world. Day 5 in Costa Rica vlog. The first thing I did when I woke up is enjoyed the nice view of the ocean before heading down to have some breakfast. Today I had an omelette and hash browns, then we headed back to the room to get ready for jet skiing. This was probably my favorite thing we've done this trip, especially doing donuts on them. After this we had a short rest and hopped on some ATVs for a ride through the jungle. We stopped at this town and explored for a little before before heading back and unfortunately I wasn't able to get any footage of the ATVs. But here's what I looked like after from all the dust sticking onto my sunscreen. After this we had supper and of course I forgot to record that as well. But then we ended off the night by going to the neon party that the resort has every other week. Keep this between the two of us but yesterday mom put a hundred dollars on the counter and I took it without her knowing. That's not even that bad. A couple of weeks ago, I stuck out to a party while mom and dad thought I was sleeping. You did what? Oh, hi Eric. Did you hear what we were talking about? I heard the whole thing. <sighs> Please don't tell mom. You're gonna have to give me something. Fine, I'll give you five dollars. That's not enough. <sighs> Ten. Make it twenty. Deal, we'll give you twenty. Let's just split it ten dollars each. Actually, I also want that hoodie. No, this is brand new. Mom? Fine, take it. Thank you. Mom, you won't believe what Luke and Tommy did. Hey, are you that guy that everyone's been talking about who can only hear every second word? What? Oh, um, R, R, U, U, the, the, guy, guy, that, that, can, can, only, only, hear, hear, every, every, second, second, word, word. Every second word, 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 every second word. Hello, Mom, and you are? Tell him your name. Oh, um, I'm Luke. And what brings you in today, Luke? <sighs> he has a sore wrist. Your left or your right? My right. His right. How did you hurt it? He fell when he was snowboarding. Hmm, I see. Do you mind if I take a look? Use your voice, you're 20 years old. Mom, where's all my white socks? They should be where they usually are. Well, they're not here. Well, what makes you think I know where they are? Because you did the laundry and now they're not here. You know what, if you're gonna talk to me like that, you're doing your laundry from now on. <sighs> Son, are you almost ready to leave? Yeah, in a couple seconds, I just need to find some... Wait a second, where'd you get those socks? Oh, these? I don't know, your mother just put them in my drawer.
Here, you want to see something cool? Give me your phone. Okay. Here you go. Whoa, where are we? We're in Costa Rica, baby. No. What are you doing? No. 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 Erase that. No. No. Please. No, 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 no. No. And after taking all this into consideration, it leaves us with E equals MC squared. Does anyone have any questions? Come on guys, I'm sure someone has a question. That was a lot we just went through. And remember, there's no such thing as a dumb question. Yes, Luke? Uh, why did you use division instead of multiplication in the second last step? Were you even paying attention? Do you remember what that TV show we started watching yesterday is called? Mm, 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 mm. Come on, you're the one who wanted to watch it. You should remember. Mm, 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 mm. I think it started with like an O or something. It's oh, I found it. Outer Banks. Are you okay? Help me. What happened to you? Call me an ambulance. Okay. Thank you. Hey, an ambulance. What happened to you? Hey Luke, I'm going to the store. Do you want to come with me? No, I'm watching Netflix right now. Are you sure you don't want to go for a drive with your mother? Yeah, a new season of a show I really like just came out. Okay, I guess I'll go by myself. You know, when you move out, we'll never be able to do this again. I know, Mom. I'll go next time. <sighs> I carry you for nine months and you can't even come with me for 30 minutes?! Remember this? What about this one? Or this one? Okay, enough. I'll go. Dad? What? You're supposed to be sleeping. You have school tomorrow. I can't fall asleep. There's something in my closet. What do you mean? Of course there's stuff in your closet. That's what it's meant for. No, I mean something big, giant, ugly, hairy, and scary. <sighs> Fine, let me check. <laughs> this old lady started yelling at a kid selling candy, then one man decided it was enough. Two siblings from California decided they wanted to earn more money. So they thought of a few ideas, but they decided on a candy business. They decided that they were each gonna buy a box of candy, then sell them outside their local grocery store. On some days, they would sell a ton of candy, but on others, they would only sell one or two pieces. Everything was going well for them until one day when an old lady approached them. She became very aggressive and started yelling at them for no reason. The kids went silent and didn't say a word while the lady embarrassed them in front of the store. As she was yelling, a man overheard her and decided that it was enough. He walked over to them and what he ended up doing made the lady's jaw drop. But before I tell you what he did, I found this app that tells you your celebrity look like and apparently I look like Zach King. If you want to find out who you look like, just press a button on my profile. He ended up telling the lady that she had no right to be yelling at the kids like that and he also told the kids that he would buy an entire box of candy and handed them $100. Secrets the royal guards don't want you to know. They wear those long black hats to appear taller and more intimidating. If they have to go to the bathroom, they have to do it while standing there because they're not allowed to leave their position. They're allowed to move while on duty but they're only allowed to take 15 steps every 10 minutes because standing in one place for too long is bad for their health. If you see them marching towards you, you better get out of the way because they'll either carry you away or yell, make way for the queen's guards. Their weapons are usually empty unless there's a threat or an emergency. They're trained to faint in the right way so they don't make a ruckus, which is why if any of them faint, they'll faint forwards and onto their face. They're not allowed to smile or laugh and if they do, they get $200 taken off their salary. That's why they always have a serious attitude even when tourists try to make them laugh. Hello? Hi honey, it's me. Are you still at the golf course? Yeah. Why? 
Well, I'm at the mall and I found a leather coat. It's only a thousand dollars. Can I get it? Sure. Go ahead if you really like it. Oh, and I stopped by the Mercedes dealership and I saw one that I really liked. How much is it? Ninety-eight thousand. Okay, but for that price, make sure it comes with all the options. Yes. Oh, and one more thing. That house that I really wanted last year is back on the market for nine hundred eighty thousand. Well, then offer them nine hundred thousand dollars and they'll probably take it. But if they don't, offer an extra fifty thousand dollars if you think it's a good price. Okay, I'll see you later. I love you so much. You're worth it. Bye. Does anybody know whose phone this is?